<laughs> hey, what is up, guys? Twit happens here on another video to Road to Survival and uh, or Walking Dead Road Survival. And uh, I think I fixed everything up, you know. See if we can actually go through with this to six, seven, eight. Uh, you know, let's just jump into it. See, uh, see how it goes. Uh, we want <laughs> we can get a full team of Jesuses in here. Actually, the uh, all all out war Jesus. I have two other uh, four stars. One, two, kind of on standby. That'd be pretty funny. But uh, whatever. Let's just uh jump into this and hopefully uh, knock out some walkers. All right. Ooh, headshot. Uh, kind of like the whole kicking thing. It's pretty cool. But it doesn't really give me a crit bonus, so I can't. Uh, damn. Oh, he's on a roll. Some Mortal Kombat shit right there. All right. So. Headshot. Headshot. Maybe. Alright, well, we got... Damn! So I think the Jesuses are better uh, with no uh, weapons. Alright, so now we got our 15 crit. And another one. Damn! So, uh, let's just give him a break here. Oh, flying knee. To a high kick. Ah! He's ready. Mixed martial artist. And we'll see if he, uh. Damn! This guy is no joke. Why can't my Jesus be like that? Shit. Alright. Now, here comes the fun part. Oh. Popped that one too early. That was an accident. Alright. So. Let's see. No headshots. Wow. It's not a good start. There we go. And of course, uh, we'll attack these, get um, three people. We actually killed two of them. I just did it for the crit bonus. And I mean, we got a few of them. There we go. Finish up strong, wave three. Moving on to wave four. And uh, we got two more survivors. That works out. Uh, ten walkers. Only two of them behind barriers, which I'm okay with because by the time we actually get to those, they'll all be uh, out and ready to fight. So now they should uh, start making their way out. There we go. Really? Out of all the ones you could auto attack, not the group of three over here? Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Thanks, Jesus. You're a good role model. And there's the lag again. Guys, if you know any other recording software that's better or something good that we can, you know, record these videos and, um, what should we call it? Record these videos, use, uh, webcam for some other stuff just something that we could uh use i can't keep you know i'm just getting aggravated every time we make a video it's always lagging because uh all this stuff like look at that i even tried lowering like the frames resolution i tried you know making this a very basic video just as a test and even that didn't work so uh whatever Let's uh, keep going with this. Oh, look at good old Gregory. I know him. All right. So we got some more walkers. I think we had one round of bandits. Oh, I forgot I have to refill. I, I, I wasn't recording one of the rounds, so we just kind of left in the middle. Yeah, I fleed. So, uh, I kind of lost 11 raid, uh, raid, world energy, but whatever. It happens. But, uh, I mean, I feel like we should 
just try fucking rushing through this so uh, we can actually get a video without any lag before they uh, well no nope, he's behind a barrier so of course God damn it Josh will do it good old Lucille <laughs> all right sweet and wave two. Oh, we are on we got six waves now fancy 11 walkers wave six See if we can take a couple of them out. Yeah, I figured that was going to be blocked, but now we got the 15 crit. You know, it's not a huge bonus, but it's better than nothing. Plus, you know, everyone's attack. It's got to build up, as you saw. Another blocked. There we go. Might just throw one range guy in here, just so we have that possibility of hitting the guy while he's behind it. Because it just aggravates me. <laughs> Trying to attack people behind there, just being blocked. Especially if it's like the last guy and I still have like three or four guys left to attack. And I'm just watching them all jump up to a barrier. Too stupid to go around. Too stupid to hit over it. It just infuriates me. Makes me want to rage. Riot. Really. That also kind of pisses me off when your entire team can't get a, a headshot. God damn. What's wrong with these people? They're turning against me. Except Josh. God damn it. And there's the famous, infamous lag, so. Uh, here we go. Alright, I can't even attack anybody here. Like, what the hell? This is just stupid. So now, I mean, can't really attack much people here anyway, because they're all on the line. It's a good thing I don't have any guys that can attack people on a line, or we would have uh, completely destroyed the uh, conga line of walkers. So, uh, that would have been pretty cool. <clears throat> but, anyway, 13 walkers, round 4, let's do this. Whoops. Got a little too excited. Hit a... Ew, what the hell's on that guy? That doesn't matter, because we're just going to... Just keep using supers. Sure, why not? No, well, since I can't do anything, might as well use yours too. There we go. Two headshots. 13 walkers down. Round four complete. Cleared. Done. Moving on to five. We got another ten. A mini group. We're going to attack just because, like I said, I want the uh, plus 15 crit. Makes me feel better on the inside. Kind of, you know, lightens everything up. Oh, crit. You have a chance of possibly getting a headshot because none of your uh, other teammates can uh, pull it off. We're just that genuine. Awesome. All right. We have five complete. Ten walkers down. And we got another two survivors. I'm literally hoarding survivors. I'm trying to level up, uh, power level up a couple of my guys because as you guys know it, or if you haven't figured it out yet, um, our, my server has still not gotten Faction Wars yet. And I'm trying to buff up as many people as I can to uh, create multiple teams for uh, Faction Wars. Because for those who haven't gone into it, once you have your main team you use, you claim other uh, towers. And you can't use your main team to guard a tower if you claim it so you kinda need at least two teams alright seven cleared minimal lag I'll take it and we meet who do we meet what? I don't care Ethan this guy this guy kill David oh. There he goes. Was it Negan? Alright. Oh. Boom. So now we find ourselves fighting uh, humans again. Um, I feel like this would actually work out perfectly right now. But... I kind of want to take Denise in. Nah, we'll, we'll keep Denise in. You know what? We're going to go with this team. 
all fast. Everyone, you know, just gets crits and bonuses. So let's let's roll with it. I'm kind of curious. I mean, looking at it right now, it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. But hey, who cares? I could have definitely made a team to uh, demolish this, but let's uh oh. Wow. And I don't even have anything to heal, so we're probably going to lose our uh, Epic Jesus right here. We are not, actually. But what we are going to do is pump everybody up and try to have a strong finish here. Because uh, I'm not really sure what this team was for. But I can tell you that there's not really much good coming from it. I just saw it pre-made and I clicked into it. I'm looking at the weapons and these are just a poor choice. This is a very sloppy team. <clears throat> I just saw Tyrese as a leader with the 30 attack, 30 health, and uh, figured it'd be good. I mean, at least we can take these uh, these tough guys out fairly quick. That's the one benefit from it. And we got a line of enemies. We'll uh, take down their attack. Buff everybody up. I'm not going to use Jesus' super yet. Because I feel like it would be a waste at this point. Eh, he does get it soon. And I just want to finish this. So let's let's go ahead and get a little reckless. <clears throat> Alright, perfect. So there's wave 2 with uh, this team. I don't even know what everyone's holding. I'm just, I see uh, Epic Jesus has an ice pick. Uh, I have no idea why. Um, four star Jesus has a meat cleaver right now. I mean, you know, for a raid and all that stuff, I could understand that, but for uh, a simple roadmap, that's a little, uh, I'm a little confused there. I don't fully understand what my choices were behind this, but, uh, let's use Denise super because she's holding a freaking tactical knife, uh, cultist knife, so she's going to get it within a couple of turns. All right, and of course we have our beautiful dream team of strong on the other side. So we're just gonna, uh, you know, buff everyone's attack thirty percent and use Jesus's super for the sole reason and the sole purpose of trying to kill these guys as fast as possible. Because I don't feel like wasting any items. And like I said, I still don't understand what my decision behind this team was. It makes no sense to me. But I must have picked it for a reason. I mean, definitely have some more fast people I could have put in here that would kind of be better. Oh, well, look at this. Fast versus fast. And everyone's got their super. But we're going to save it. At least, you know what? Yeah, we'll save it for now. Just buff hers, uh, buff the attacks, and we'll just kind of stroll through this so we can hopefully have a giant, quick finish in the, uh, the final wave. So, you know, buff everyone's attack, you know, 30% for everyone with Molly, and uh, just use, you know, Rick and both Jesus's uh, supers. If this Jesus makes it out, oh, you're going to heal. That's cute. Oh, wow. All right, well, we'll just heal everyone up. 50%, I believe. And just continue. Oh, and another heal. It's fine. This is taking a little... All right, now I'm starting to get aggravated. So I take all that back. Let's just finish this quick. Quick painless for everybody. And see you later. <clears throat> I believe it's only two turns for Molly. Oh, three turns. So our first turn we're actually gonna have a bit of a you know attack buff. And we'll attack all the strong people and so right now we got two of these strong people's uh, attacks 
um, nerfed. Oh, we got everyone at full health now. You know, since they're pretty much low, let's just finish them off. Now we got the two healers, which I know exactly what's going to happen. So we're just going to rush through this. They're going to keep healing. And by the time we get our second Jesus is um, Adrenaline Rush, which should be next turn. Yeah, I saw this coming. Yeah. And there we go. All right. Well, now we're just going to have an epic finish. Just an onslaught. There we go. <clears throat> exactly how I saw that going. Alright, so... Stage 8 is complete. We're looking at... It is 1.30 here, so this was available for about an hour and a half. And we just... Unlocked... Bert, Brady, and a Sophia. So we now have Sophia, who is H9, and uh, unfortunately we did not get any uh, elite weapon tokens or anything, and we still have another three days we'd have to wait for Act 3, so three days will continue for this Dwight that I kind of want, but I kind of don't at the same time, but uh, there we have it, another, uh, you know, part, our act down. And uh, patiently waiting for the next one. I still don't understand why this is still going. 14 days. We still have two weeks of Telltale Part 3. Which I believe will put us at the um, uh, the premiere of the midseason for the TV show. I believe that's what it will bring us to. But we still got another 26 days for Larger World Part 2. So I don't understand why we have such a long wait for these, but uh, we'll go and we'll uh, do some raids while we're waiting, because I know you guys want to see more of that, let's see if we can get someone ahead of us, or someone with a decent amount of food, alright, this meets both standards, but this dingo guy, I don't want to get involved. I actually spent four raid energies trying to beat him, I cannot beat him, I've given up. He has an Eric as a leader. He has three five-star Andreas. And I believe an Ezekiel or an Abraham. I think it's Ezekiel. It's just a slaughter. That guy is unbeatable for me. And we're running out of food, so I don't know how. And we're going to have to go with... We're going to have to go with this one. We ran out of food trying to find someone better. Because I know you guys want to see, you know, me fight people actually, you know, higher and all that. But, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't make it happen right now. So, we'll settle for this guy. Take out Mark, because he's just a pain in the ass. I'm expecting Carl to go down next turn. And, yeah, I saw that coming. Let's try to take her out, and I don't think she'll have her super, not yet. Uh, but now, Tyrese is impaired, so we won't get much of a heal going, but apparently we will finish off with our uh, two Jesuses and earn 2,600 food, 9 reputation, and a basic token. We got one more raid to do. And, um, I think I'm just going to go into it so we're not sitting here wasting. Actually, let's find something that's, oh, here we go. Perfect. Someone better than us. All right. They have pretty good team. I'm personally going to go for this Michonne because I think she's more of a threat, at least more of a pain in the ass than any other character on that team. Yes, Maggie heals 70%. I'm well aware of that, but I just can't be bothered with that minus 50 attack. It's just brutal. Alright, so I already know how this is going to go. We're going to leave Maggie alive and just try to finish uh, Lori. 
because I could care less if Maggie, yeah, I, I kind of assumed that was going to happen, and she's got that stupid shield up, so, shield or no shield, next round she's done, add insult to injury, we'll uh, heal, so when they do look at the details, they have one guy dead, and we have everyone else at full health, so, we got another 2600 food, we got 25 rep, and for basic token, not that it matters, we're going to open it up and get a, a Gerald. Good old Gerald. And I forgot to uh, make a video about this one, but uh, we have a new original character. I'm not a big fan of the originals, so I may do one opening and that's it. I, I mean, 35 more for those, that, that's a good deal, that's cool, but no way in hell am I going to try 35 times to get a, an epic Donnie. I mean, I'm not impressed with him at all. He's all right. Yeah, no specialist. All alert enemies get uh, all alert teammates get 45% health. That's a pretty good leader bonus. But I don't. I don't really have more than two alert characters that I'm using, and I just doesn't really, you know, grab me. Then 350 damage to one enemy. All teammates get 25 crit for three turns. That's a pretty good. Adrenaline rush, but not enough for me to actually want him. Usually, like the character itself brings me to the point where I'm like, I need this character. Like Kenny, here's a perfect example. I played the Telltale games, and Kenny was my favorite character. So during that, you know, during the all the Telltale game, I made my priority to make the best interest in Clementine because she was a kid. And my second, you know, person I tried backing up was Kenny every time, which actually on my video you can see my uh, Twitch stream playthrough through it. It's not the greatest, but uh, it is on this channel. And every decision I made was, you know, in interest of Clementine or Kenny. So I got like, you know, kind of like that uh, video game attachment to him, and I just think his. Um, leader skill and adrenaline rush are just overpowered. So, you know, Kenny is one guy I really, really want. And then, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and wait for the wheel, but another character I really want would be the Morgan, because I think Morgan is really powerful in the game. Then we move to Dwight. You know, I kind of like his adrenaline rush, but Dwight is more like, you know, one of those characters I want. Like, it has nothing to do with his skills or anything. I just like Dwight. Like, Negan. When they come out with a Negan character, pfft, I'm afraid to see how much money I will end up spending trying to get that Negan. That's not going to be like 100 open. That's going to be an open till I get him. So, I better have a fat wallet, a big ass paycheck that week because, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to be rough whenever he comes out. And then, finally, as you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I've wanted this Rick since the beginning, since I started playing it. I've not been that lucky. I don't know what the hell, why I can't get him. I, I don't even know, like, why I want him so bad. I think it's more of the Rick character, the long hair, the beard. I don't know, he just looks like a badass. He's got a good adrenaline rush, and he's got a pretty good leader skill, so, I mean... I'm not really sure at this point why I still want him. I had a big plan, uh, big plans for him previously, but now with like my newer teams, all my new characters, it doesn't really help me. Like he wouldn't be able to fit in great in one of my teams. I'd have to kind of force him into one. But whatever. Enough about this uh, five star talk. And Ezekiel is a uh, another character I'd love to have because his uh, his adrenaline rush is just so powerful. But anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, we uh, we got a uh, finally got Sophia. I'm a little confused to see why I have 65 out of 60 characters because uh, you know, Gabe kind of came in and oh, uh, that's why they're all commons and stuff from the rescue. Yeah, all right, because uh, he kindly. Got rid of a lot of the guys I didn't use and kind of sold them to the Supply Depot. So a majority of these guys are all one and two stars that will uh, probably just sell. And we got 
quite a bit of trainers, which work for the next level up tournament. Awesome. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. You know, we're almost at 200 uh, subscribers, which is great. You know, I want to thank you guys for, <clears throat> you know, rate, ra literally rating, commenting, and subscribing. You guys are great. Thank you very much, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're going to make of it yet. We might do a single poll for uh, the Donnie character, because like I said, uh, I want to do one poll, but I'm not really too fond of him. And if I get him in one poll, awesome, great, cool, doubtful, but possible. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you on the next, next time, next video. Enjoy, guys.